G'day everybody, how are you going today? It is so good to see you. I do hope that you are super well. I am here with my dear friend, Scott Kilmartin. Two decades in we are, I would say. Even we're, we're in our third decade. We are on the way, yeah. We're not talking about our age, we're talking about our friendship length. Oh yeah, yeah, we're only like 19. But anyway, Scott's got some productions that he's wanting to make very soon. You may well have seen our beautiful ice cream van slash coffee van video. If you haven't, check that out up here. Scott's got a few projects. Do you want to share with us the projects? And then, we're going to, and then what we're going to be doing is unboxing his brand new purchases on how he is starting his YouTube channel slash whatever other media you're going to hit. So this is effectively the YouTube starter kit that for those following along at home, we hope you are, you suggested, I asked a bunch of questions about, all right, what am I going to do to get started? What's the, what are the basics I need and then what do I need to learn? This is not an advertisement for DigiDirect, by the way, but they, they, they do happen to be the but shop. Big shout out to Mark at DigiDirect, your mate who, uh, who's been super helpful to me and super generous as well. So awesome. All right, it's Christmas for you. D dive on in, just grab whatever you like. Maybe start with the oh, least, oh. least exciting first. I was going to I was going to go the opposite but okay yeah. whatever you say. Oh well we've got to build. We've got to build so, attention. Two tripods. Let's put it in front. Explain to me why I'm buying oh, not I'm buying past tense. <laughs> why have I bought two tripods? The beauty of the Joby or the Joby is for being able to put your camera pretty much anywhere. You can attach it to a tree, you can attach it to a fence. You can I've even attached it to the handlebars of my scooter to have an instant tripod. That allows you to have a tripod everywhere and we love everybody loves a stable shot stable shots good okay plus this has the added bonus of being your selfie stick so it does both right so there's the joby multi-purpose next bigger than i thought too which is yeah. always good am i actually wearing one of these yes you are so what this is here is the rode wireless go 2 and why we love the rode wireless go 2 Firstly is, well, sound, and of course, sound is so critical. Sound, some people would say, and I do agree, sound is the most important thing in when you're making a video. People will tolerate a degree of grainy, shaky pictures, but they won't tolerate poor sound. And so what we've gone with here is a company that I personally love a, a lot because they're Australian. So we put our money where our mouth is and we're actually recommending the same product that we use, and this allows you to wirelessly transmit the sound from you over to the camera, there doesn't have to be any cables. So we have two transmitters and a receiver, which means you can have two people on mic wirelessly. You can have them on separate channels. This has a safety channel. And probably my favorite feature of these is, it records to these. So even if the link between these and the camera fails, these record, they record it internally. It's brilliant. Matt mentioned my projects and productions. One of them is the filming of the conversion of said van. The other one is effectively going to drive around and interview people about coffee and their coffee rituals in the morning, which is why I needed two mics. Why don't we go with this one next? And then, and then we will come to the big kahuna. That's it, we'll get that off. So that is lovely. So what this is, is of course a tripod. We all know what a tripod is, but the reason I will really uh, ask Scott to lean into the tripod is we love a stable shot. We're shooting with a stable shot, just makes it easier to watch. Don't have to do fixing in post for destabilization, which doesn't fix everything anyway. Like you can try and fix it, but it can look pretty bad. Uh, and of course, it allows you to shoot yourself. Look, a tripod's essential if you pretty much want to do anything. Does that lead us into uh, yeah, the, it's, fi the it's final gift? It's you, it's you, mate, it's all you. There it is. What do we have here? All right, so why did you suggest uh, this camera and this lens or these couple of lenses to me as part of entry-level YouTuber? Obviously, there's tons of options out there in the world. And I think we landed on this particular camera because you saw mine and you like the retro look. There, yes. are, there are non-retro versions of almost exactly the same camera. But obviously, you and many others around the world have gone, oh, that's quite nice. I can have a state-of-the-art camera that doesn't look like a state-of-the-art camera. You've read me well. I'm in the midst of restoring a retro vehicle. So Scott's uh, vehicle is a 1950s... 1969. 1969. It's a delivery van that turned into an ice cream van that's now... So this is almost exactly from the same sort of yeah. decade-ish. Yes. Uh, so look-wise, perfect. And, you know, fashion is important to all of us. And then this machine is nice and small, nice and light, good for travel, but it still packs all the punch you need for YouTubing. You go up to 4K in video, 24 frames a second, which is the basic of what 
we require for 4K. This particular unit, which you're gonna pull out now, has a flip screen on it. And then we, you and I actually had a discussion, should you get the second lens or not? And we basically said, look, if you buy it as a kit, you get it very affordably. If you buy it later, you pay a bit more. We were able to get a good price, so it made it very affordable to just buy all of that at once. So part of the other reason for getting the lens is to, is to learn how to take some decent photos. The, the location that the van will be living and serving coffee has a gorgeous backdrop of one of the Melbourne ports over in Williamstown. And so I want to take, I want to learn how to take some photos of van, moving container ships, sunrise. We'll be over there serving coffee at 5 a.m., which means lots of sunsets. So jump into this video here and you, and you can see images of the location that Scott's talking about exactly. And it's a beautiful location. Let's have a quick look at the ZFC. I'm super stoked to see which color you went for. We've oh, gone with a bit nice. of white action. That's cool. White, probably not the color that I'm, I would normally have picked, but the interior of the truck is white laminex. Here it is, this is the kit. Would you like to mount the lens on the camera? How about the first? I'll do how it. About you do okay. that, all right. I have done it before. All right, here we go. Isn't it great? Nice. Now you can get a grip like I've got to go on the side there. And You're recommending one of those? I, only if you're doing a lot of sh shooting, shooting. If you're doing mostly this shooting, it's not necessary. Okay. Yeah. Why don't you flip out that screen very gently? Because this is the part that you're gonna enjoy. And then, it, make sure you rotate it the right way or you'll snap it off, don't go the other way. And then that is your vlogging kit right there. So if I'm on said tripod, I can see yeah. what it's all looking you like. You can see if you're in frame. And this is one of the few cameras that does that? No, no, it's one of the few Nikon cameras that does it. Got it. Uh, everybody, all brands have, hey, whether it's much. one or seven. Got it. But you can do that. Now you can charge this and never take the battery out. You charge using the USB-C port, plug it into your laptop or whatever, and you literally just charge it up. There we go, we've got power, but you charge it up and you don't have to take the battery out. Nice. Pa, 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 pa. And as you can see, your level is coming through. And that's it. And if we so look- So now synced and good to go. Yeah, you, you could basically start record, you could start vlogging right now. And what we can see here is we have to extend this for it to start. And there you are, mate. You are on camera. And there they are, there's your levels. So you are off and running. Fantastic. You're good to go. You could basically whack that on there and, and you're done. So that's it, that is the basic kit. And if Scott wanted to go vlog, that's all he would need is that and that. Obviously you can use an on-camera mic, uh, but we've gone for the wireless one so you can get further from the camera and the sound. Because when you're on camera, you've only got a, a distance and then it starts to sound rubbish. This, so, this, the sound is good all the which, time. Which I was baffled by when we took the truck down to Williamstown, you were yep. across the road, you were like 50 metres away. Yep. And, I, and I was like, how are you hearing what I'm doing? Yeah. I didn't know, I was, just wasn't aware that it had. Yeah, yeah, it's while, that, while, this is 200 metres off the top of my head. Unbelievable. Is, is the range, as long as you're outside. What's amazing about the technology today, and look, this is probably knowledge to pe people who watch YouTube a lot, this is pretty common knowledge, but for someone new who's jumping into this after five or 10 years, the power of the technology, you know, 4K video, like crazy. Wireless microphones and sound, crazy. And it's around $2,000. 2,400 bucks, which, with which, their was, which, tripods. Was, which was everything. Everything. You, everything that you're seeing that's come out of those two show bags. Yeah. yeah. Which is phenomenal. Yeah, and you can broadcast to the world. So there you go. This could be your, as well, basic vlogger YouTuber starter kit. Well, thank you, Scott. We, we all very much wish you the best of luck with your new kit, and we will continue to follow your endeavors. I will chase you down every now and again and make a new video. For those of you on Instagram, go to Grace's Elegant, and you'll see uh, little, little snippets before the YouTube channel comes to fruition. It's a beautiful truck, so you've got to go check it out. And um, awesome. All right, Scotty. Well, thank you. Thanks, mate. Enjoy.